Tonight, we are leaving Siem Reap and heading down south of Cambodia to Kampong. But first, before we get on a very long night bus, we're fueling up with some very delicious food. Siem Reap really does come alive at night. We came here on our first night to Siem Reap and we've been coming here pretty much every night since. This lady here makes some really good food and it's really affordable as well. Just outside of the pub street and next to the market, there is this street that sort of comes alive at night. We went here a little bit earlier in the evening and there was nothing here, but at night, all of these street food ladies and gentlemen pop up out of nowhere and they're cooking all kinds of food, all kinds of drinks, all kinds of desserts. It's just such an amazing vibe. Loads of people are out here sat with their family, with their friends, eating, chatting, having a good old time. We don't actually know what the name of this dish is. It says on her sign, fried noodle with egg and beef. Don't know if that's a proper Cambodian dish, but it is so good. It looks like these instant noodles with some vegetables, a fried egg, really crispy fried egg as well. And we, of course, have put loads of this chili flakes on top. Oh, oh, oh look at that. <laughs> Perfect. All the dishes here that this lady makes is between a dollar and two dollars, which is extremely affordable. Right, let's dig in. These noodles are so long. This dish is so tasty. And it's not like any other Asian dish we've tried. Some of the flavors there are very unique to Cambodia, I would say. Look at the portion you get for $1.50. That's good. That is the perfect fuel for a really long night of traveling. I don't know when we'll next get food. Probably tomorrow morning when we arrive really early in a middle station that we then have to catch another bus from. We kind of got this bus ticket very last minute this morning, actually. We were looking at it the other day, last night, didn't get around to booking it. And then when we finally booked our hotel in Kampot, we realized that there was only one seat left on the bus that we actually wanted to get. So now we're actually changing buses in Phnom Penh. Anyway, it's gonna be a long night, but we've got this delicious thing to wash down the noodles. Mm. What's happening there? Oh, yeah. I just heard people singing. <laughs> Didn't know uh, Cambodia had these kind of stag party cycling buses. I, I remember doing one of those in Prague with, from one of my mates Stagdus. <laughs> Not that fun when you have to actually bicycle for quite a long time, about an hour. It's solid. Anyway, as I was saying, this mango shake was only one dollar. Most things along this road anyway seem to be, like Dylan said, around a dollar, which is very good when you get a full meal sort of for three, four dollars for the both of us. So good. It's eight o'clock now and our bus Leaves at 11, but they told us to be at the station for 10 p.m. So we're gonna devour this food now. Head back to the hotel, get our bags, go to the station. It is a sleeper bus. Hopefully we will be sat together or that will be kind of a weird um, bus if they're not sat together in a bed. I wouldn't want to share with a stranger. I don't think I'd be able to sleep, even if it was a friendly lady. I think it would be really difficult just to sleep next to a stranger. So. <laughs> And for the first time probably ever, we booked this bus not knowing what it looks like. We booked it just through the person at the hotel. Didn't show us any photos or anything. Hope it's good. Hi, thank you. Tiny tuk -tuk, so many I booked bags. the bigger one. Uh. I thought I booked a big uh, tuk tuk. Looks like I booked uh, quite a small one. Yeah. Have you got all of the stuff? Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. bye, -bye. bye. <laughs> Are we all good? Yes. Yes, yeah? Okay, good. He said we're in yeah. the right place? Yeah. Oh, we just wait here? Yeah, good to wait here. Oh, <laughs> that was so easy. So basically, the lady at the um, hotel booked us two tickets to uh, Campos, but there's a stop on the way in from Penn. Anyway, we had to go to a bus station in Siem Reap. The people at the check-in desk now in the hotel didn't know which Yeah, it's like the depot. night staff. They, they, apparently there's three bus stations, but the main big bus station is out of town and it's closed. Yeah. 
So it was very confusing. But the tuk-tuk driver was like, yeah, 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 fine. We've shown up at what looks like a... If it to me, it looks like a post office. It does something. look like a post office. But I just showed this. He didn't even look at the tickets inside. He says, yeah, stay here. You're, you're in the right place. I so. reckon this is where she came and purchased them earlier today then. Oh, potentially. And he must have been the one that wrote the envelope. Because yeah. <laughs> to me, this means nothing. But all right, oh. we'll wait here. <laughs> That's right. Do you reckon that's it? Maybe. It looks good, right? From the outside, that looks that looks good. Looks good to me. 4A and 3A. 4A and 3A? Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to get tired now. It's been raining here all day. So, this is going to be a fun ride. It's going to be cozy if it's raining outside. I'm trying to figure out whether we're sat together or not. Because our tickets look like they might not be. Because we're 3A and 4A, and that doesn't really make sense that we'd be sat together. I don't think we're sat together. But there's not two and two, right? So I'll be at the top with somebody else. From what I can see, yeah. Whether or not someone will change with us, we'll see. I don't really want to be sat next to some stranger. I don't mind seeing being sat next to somebody else, but I don't want to sleep next to some stranger. True. Well, I think we're boarding in a few minutes, so we'll let you know. We're the only person. There's no one next to us. Where are we going? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Time to go! The reason we're actually heading down all the way to Kampa is not only because it looks absolutely beautiful, but it's supposed to be a very chilled, laid back, almost a bit more of an island vibes kind of place. And hopefully it'll be a bit of a refuge from all of this rain. The first few days we had here in Siem Reap, it was so beautiful and now it's just been raining pretty much most of today. So let's let's get away from it. <laughs> Maybe that's why the sunrise at Angkor Wat that we went to wasn't that good. I think it's because the clouds were coming in. Because every day since then it's been dreadful. Mm. People are going on. Oh, are they? It is cold. Yeah? Yeah. We're both down here. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so what we have in here in our little compartment blankets, aircon, pillows, a bit of a window. We've got our eye masks, so we, you know, we won't be seeing any of that light anyway. Earplugs. Oh, and I'm so glad we're next to each other. Yay! So we'll see you guys when we wake up in Prophet. Checked. We're in the right place for the next bus, but it's at 8 o'clock in the morning, which is in three hours to camp up. We arrived at the right time. Yeah, perfect time. You slept way more than I did. I oh my god, I can tell that you've been wearing the eye mask. What is it? I slept. The, I, as soon as we got on, I put my earplugs in, my eye mask on, complete blackout just slept solidly and then just before we arrived my hips started hurting a little bit because you kind of had just have to sleep in one position you couldn't sleep with your legs straight so i had to sleep in the same position that dylan was sleeping in I slept so well and i was like oh i'm waking up a little bit and dylan's like yeah we're here his alarm was going off but i couldn't hear it because my, i had my, <laughs> my ear flexing <laughs> such good sleep I asked for a caramel macchiato and he said no. I asked for an iced latte and I said okay, so I don't know if this is going to be sweet or not. All right. Could potentially not be. It's good? It's sweet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was expecting that to be just pure coffee and milk to be honest. But... No, that's really tasty. <laughs> I think it's from a shop called Micromart. Which seems no, to Micro be... Oh, Micromart, yeah. Sim similar to 7-Eleven. Yeah. What I also got was a steamed bun, but it's meat. Sorry. You can have some of the... Some of the side bit? You can have some of the skin. Oh, it's um, sticky. Oh yeah, easy to take off. 
I think that's the second night bus that I've ever been on. And I slept so much better than the previous one, even though the previous one looked way fancier and I had my own cabin because it stopped so many times and I didn't know when I had to get up. Whereas here, it didn't stop once. It did. It stopped three times. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, I just slept so slow. Yes, it stopped loads of times with toilets and there's people going out for food. Did it actually? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Oh, I slept through that? Yeah. Oh. Like, Never I, mind. Because I kept checking to see how, are we in the right place, so we arrived. But no, it was just like restaurants and toilets. Oh, I just slept. <laughs> now with this bus, we do actually think we're not sitting together. Yeah, this time it's a little bit more obvious. We're seat number one and seat number seven. As far as I know, those numbers are not next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> when we um, bought these tickets, the lady in the last hotel said, oh, there'll be a huge uh, bus station with loads of facilities. No, it's not. Really. No, maybe there is, I'm sure there is a much bigger bus station probably here in Phnom Penh. But this is one of the bus stations, I think which yeah. is the one next to the hospital and it's, it's fine it's fine but it's definitely not big no well can you get that as well yes oh it's a tiny bus you want to make that at least i got loads of leg room Well, we made it to Kampot and now we need to just get a tuk-tuk to the hotel. We're a little bit out of town, I think, so um, a little bit expensive to get a tuk-tuk over there, but we just want to get to bed, to be honest. I need to sleep. We're staying in a tree house, if I remember correctly, yeah? I'm pretty sure that's what we booked and I, I can see. Well, actually, I think they all are tree houses. Where's the reception? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. That taxi tuk tuk was seven dollars, which after going on the ride, probably worth it for seven dollars. It was about long. twenty minutes and half the road was just off-roading. But this place seems cool. It is really like walking through a jungle. What do you mean? Is that the beach? Because it said it had like beach access. There it is. Look at that. Some form oh, of wow. beach. Oh, that's so fun. What are we going to In here? Ah, hello. We need to carry that up. Yeah. You can lift your big bag now. Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's a good, good idea. idea. Let's leave these bags here. We just checked in. This place is so nice. Wow. Look at that. Wow. This is so cool. Oh. Careful. Yeah. Right by the river. Oh, this is really nice. Mm. We are a bit far out of town, but they do do breakfast, lunch and dinner here. Um, not included in the price, obviously, but this is a place I think where we're just gonna relax for a few days. Well, I think we'll quickly show you the room, but then we'll properly show you this place Next in time. the video after, because we really need to go for a nap. <laughs> I think Dylan more so than I, but I could also do with a bit of a nap. Room's ready. This one? Yeah. yeah. The bathroom is downstairs. I didn't realize this treehouse that we booked was going to be so tall. It is a treehouse. Oh, this is so sweet. It's like three floors, I think. Ah. Well, oh. technically two. That will be Mosquito Central. You can do it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Wow. What a cool place. Wow. I feel so calm and relaxed already. This place is called Sabai Beach in Kampot. Very lovely, but we'll show you more next time. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this so long? Oh my God. It's like the longest noodles ever. <laughs>